The Suzuki Vitara nameplate returned to Australian shores from hiatus about six months ago. The boxy little crossover is now the company's second biggest seller after the Swift. But while the reborn Suzuki Vitara hasn't been here long, a welcome upgrade to the range topping variant has arrived, a more powerful turbo petrol engine from the Suzuki's new European focused booster jet family. Can the 2016 Suzuki Vitara S Turbo help the brand draw more buyers away from the bigger selling Mazda CX-3, Honda HR-V, Nissan Qashqai, Mitsubishi ASX and Holden Trax, and improve on its current market share of 4.3%? It should. For $5,000 over the base Vitara RTS, you can get a funkier design with black allows, a handful of extra features such as leather suede seats, and more, which we touch on later, and the significantly more powerful new powertrain. The new Suzuki Vitara S Turbo costs $28,990 plus on-road costs and front-wheel drive guys, or $29,990 drive away, or $32,990 plus on-road costs for the four-wheel drive version. It replaces the discontinued Vitara RTX, available only with AWD for $31,990. Read our detailed 2016 Suzuki Vitara pricing and specifications story here. For some context, the pricing puts the Vitara Turbo S about on a par with the mid-spec Mazda CX-3 S Touring or Honda HR-V variants, or the flagship 1.4 Turbo Holden Trax LTZ. The front-drive Turbo S is also $5,000 more expensive than the less well-equipped Vitara RTS, which is still powered by the old non-turbo engine. The Vitara S Turbo's engine is a direct-injected 1.4-liter unit producing 103 kilowatts at 5,500 revolutions per minute and a strong 220 newton meters between 1,500 and 4,000 revolutions per minute. Increases of 17 kilowatts 64 newton meters over the base 1.6 normally aspirated engine. The Vitara Turbo S also offers 28 newton meters more torque than the Mazda CX-3, and at 1,160 kilograms as tested, the car is also moderately lighter. Pleasingly, the engine is largely free of lag at low engine speeds and stronger in the mid-range, meaning the greater torque output is also more accessible. Overtaking, sneaking into gaps, and ferrying heavy car loads is now much easier than before. You can also expect greater refinement, on account of the engine's comparatively effortless delivery. It is also marginally better on fuel than the slower Vitara 1.6 because it is more relaxed. Suzuki claims 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers. We got mid sixes, though it prefers pricer 95 Romanian lay fuel. Those numbers are still super efficient, a traditional Suzuki trademark.